still in what was um, a bad dream. I don't have many bad dreams, I have to say, not nowadays. I used to have lots when I was younger, but I don't have many now. But the other day I woke in um, a particularly uh, horrible dream and um, I had to fight my way out of it. Um, and it took me a while, of course, um, but I did the fighting by remembering um, who God is and by reciting aloud his word. And then uh, I um, came downstairs, made a cup of coffee and opened my Bible and was reminded of um, Psalm or read Psalm 9 and was reminded of who God is. And I thought I'd like to read the Psalm to you today because these weren't particularly the scriptures that I was reciting aloud. Um, they were, in, in essence, what I was saying, but I was using other scriptures that I remembered at that time. But this is really the psalm that speaks about how I dealt with um, uh, the enemy who was actually coming at me, be that enemy Satan or my flesh or uh, the world, whichever enemy, uh, the enemy, I'm classing the enemy, who had brought into my mind this nightmare while I was sleeping and um, who didn't want me to give it up when I woke up but who was defeated, defeated by the power of God through his word. So Psalm 9. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonders. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they stumble and perish before you, for you have maintained my just cause. You have sat on the throne judging righteously. You have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. The enemy has come to an end in perpetual ruins, and you have uprooted the cities. The very memory of them has perished. But the Lord abides forever. He has established his throne for judgment, and he will judge the world in righteousness. He will execute judgment for the peoples with equity. The Lord also will be a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, O oh Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. I'm going to stop there just for a minute. That's verse 10. Those who know your name have put their trust in you. For you, O oh Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. That's really where I had to come to the other morning. Uh, I woke, I was anxious because of this dream and I was just, things were r rolling around in my head and I guess you have uh, bad dreams too or, or maybe bad dreams while you're awake actually that your thoughts become anxious within you. You start to wrestle with things, wrestle with a problem that doesn't seem fixable to you, wrestle with a situation in your family or with a friend or... Uh, some sort of situation that is causing you great anxiety and um, and and you're you're just for a moment at a loss to know how to deal with it and uh, so what I would say which I always say and you'll probably hear me say in these videos um, throughout the year put your trust in who God is for he has not forsaken those who put their trust in him you will never be disappointed if you put your trust in the Lord, for he really does abide forever. And he has established his throne for judgment and he will judge the world in righteousness. He will be a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Do you find yourself in a time of trouble today? I found myself in a time of trouble when I woke up. And yes, you could say, well, you know, that was just a bad dream and we all have bad dreams. Yes, it was. But I was struggling when I woke up, struggling to fight off the enemy who was attacking me with anxiety and fear, fear that had gotten into my mind in the night and had suddenly presented itself, in fact, woke me up with this fear that I had to fight. And I had to remember the Lord will be a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name, that's me, 
those who know your name will put their trust in you. That's what I did. For you, O oh Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. God did not forsake me. He made good on these promises. I'm going to carry on for the, the other uh, 10 verses uh, from verse 11 of Psalm 9. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare among the peoples his deeds. For he who requires blood remembers them. He does not forget the cry of the afflicted. Be gracious to me, O Lord. See my affliction from those who hate me. You who lift me up from the gates of death, that I may tell of all your praises. That in the gates of the daughter of Zion, I may rejoice in your salvation. The nations have sunk down in the pit which they have made, in the net which they hid. Their own foot has been caught. The Lord has made himself known. He has executed judgment. Um, uh, in the work of his own hands, the wicked is snared. The wicked will return to Sheol, for the needy will not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the afflicted perish forever. Arise, O Lord, do not let man prevail. Put the, let the nations be judged before you. Put them in fear, O Lord. Let the nations know that they are but men. Um, this is a strong, strong uh, psalm of David who is under attack from physical enemies and he is trusting his God. He is putting his trust in the God who has promised that those who put their trust in him will never be forsaken. He has a physical enemy, enemies and he wants the Lord to prevail against them and he's praying and praising based on the fact that he knows God will. And so you and I may not face those physical enemies. We may be facing uh, spiritual enemies. Paul says, remember, our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, the principalities, the powers of wickedness. We struggle against Satan and his demons. We struggle against his work in the world that is coming against us and his work in our own flesh that is causing us to... Uh, to be afraid and anxious about things that we cannot control and to forget that our God is a God of justice. Our God is a God of victory. Our God will prevail and all of the enemies will be caught in their own snare. Um, choose a psalm, any psalm almost. Choose a psalm. Re read that psalm today. Read it over and over. Read Psalm 9. Remind yourself of who your God is. And when those thoughts come, either in a dream in the night or in, um, in anxiety and fear in the daytime, recite those words to yourself. My God is mighty to save. My God is a refuge in a time of trouble. My God is the victor and he will judge all of the enemies. My God is in control. He is sovereign, mighty, most high God, and I belong to him. Recite these verses to yourself so that you fight the fear that the enemy would seek to bring in. Recite and know the victory. Know the victory of wielding the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God.